Something on your mind? Huh? You haven't been yourself since we spoke to Zhao. Yeah. I heard you followed the bad guys into the hunting grounds. I was worried. Well, it was an eventful manhunt, but we made it back in one piece. I'm so sorry you all got dragged into this. What a horrible coincidence. Isla, you can drop the act. W what do you mean? I really was worried about you. Why would I lie about that? Jude, what are you saying? I'm saying it was no coincidence we met Isla. Remember what those locals told us when the bell rang for the finals? At tournament time, any outsiders are either combatants or spectators. <sighs> right. I recall what she said when she came to help us. You folks don't look like you're from around here. What brings you to town? No one here would need to ask that. Not at tournament time. You were ordered to make contact with us. By Exodus. Isla, that's not true, is it? They said you'd never find out. They promised. But I had no choice in the matter. They blackmailed you, didn't they? They know your secret. Your former... occupation. They asked. Wouldn't it be a shame if Jürgen found out? What happened to the girl breaks my heart. But I had no choice back then either. Please don't tell Jürgen. He doesn't know. How could I tell him? He's a good man. But it's all in the past, isn't it? Your fiancé should know these things. You're a woman! How can you not understand this? I'm damaged goods. If he found out about my past, he'd leave me. I finally found happiness with Jürgen. For once in my life. Please. Don't tell him. Please. Hmm. I doubt I'll ever understand human love. It has so many rules and conditions. What should we do, Elise? You decide. Me? Why do I have to? This woman's actions affected you far more than us. There's nothing I can do to make it up to you. But please, forgive me. I just don't care anymore. Elise is all alone now, no matter what you do. <laughs> try to find Jürgen. We need to talk to him about the Wyverns. What's wrong, kid? Isla said there was nothing she could do to make it up to Elise. But did she actually try? Is there really nothing she can do? Isla is the only one who can answer that question. No sign of Jürgen. I hope Elise is okay. Something has been troubling me about these booster devices. Do you remember the experiment Noctagall was conducting at Fort Gondola? Might that have been a test of the booster's capabilities? You're suggesting Roshigal already has booster technology as well. 
that would be a logical conclusion. That's not good. Even kids like Elise are strong if they have boosters. If both countries were to wage war with booster-equipped soldiers, it would be a catastrophe unlike any the world has ever seen. Would they really risk having such a destructive war? Noctico might. He seems convinced that he could actually win. Especially since he has the Lance of Kresnik. Oh, here you are. Isla told me you were back in town. I'm so relieved to find you safe. Thanks. Are the wyverns you promised us ready to ride yet? Yes, but there's a hitch. Now that we're on the brink of war, we can't fly the wyverns without royal permission. For that, I'll need to head to the capital, Kanbalar. Hey, maybe we should warn the King of Ashul how ugly things will get if war breaks out. The King does seem pretty popular. Do you think maybe he'd fight alongside us? Whoa, hold on. This is a war we're talking about here, not a tavern brawl. I'd like a face-to-face -face chat with the King myself, but for a different reason. I want to ask him for the truth behind the laboratory. It's crucial that we meet the King of Ajul. We'll head for Kambalar right away. Uh, okay. I'll get my things together. What does Mila mean by the truth behind the laboratory? Apparently, Elise wasn't the only kid they kept at that place. Lots of other children were brought there too. Did Zhao tell you that? If the king truly wishes to protect his people, he'll give me the answer I see. If he gives me the wrong answer, I'll remind him of his duty. I'll make him swear to never resort to such methods again, by any means necessary. Good idea! Let's go pick the king's brain! Oh, I just remembered! All our luggage is back at the inn! Let us go fetch it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Alvin. You did well back there. I knew I could trust you to protect Elise for us. Well, I was prepared to honor my promise. Keep the faith, O oh hollowed spirit. Never a dull moment with that guy. Soon enough, I'll have to prepare myself too. Huh? I am strong enough to destroy the Lance of Kresnik as I am now, without the Force power. Wait, you sure it's a good idea to destroy it with the four great spirits still trapped inside? They would likely not survive. They would lose their forms and disintegrate. But I thought the four great spirits couldn't die. Eventually, new great spirits will appear to take their place. But they will be a different four, with different wills. So that means the four great spirits that you know, the ones that were always with you, they would just disappear? A spirit's personality and memories are unimportant. What matters is a spirit's existence itself. <sighs> Still. I doubt the Four will forgive me for this. You really care about all spirits, don't you? Not just the Great Four, but the lesser spirits, too. Not just spirits. Humans as well. To me, all lives, human and spirit, are equal and precious. Let's head for Kanbalar.
You know, it is a mercenary's job to... Not that I mind getting paid to twiddle my thumbs. Ha! <laughs> 
Chandu was in Hotburg. Look at this place. The spirit faith is stronger here in Ajul than it is in Rashagal. Whoa, check those out. That's something you won't see anywhere else in the world. It's one of Kanbalar's famous mountain slide cars. What are they? Kanbalar was built along the peaks of a mountain range. Those slide cars connect the multiple districts together. Don't they look fun? I bet we could see forever in one of those. How do we go about meeting the king? I'll request a royal audience for you when I seek permission to use the wyverns. Don't get your hopes up, though. Many people come to the capital seeking an audience, so you may need to wait a bit. I suggest resting at the inn until I get back. I bet right now you're trying to think of a way to do things without Jurgen's help. Uh, just try not to make trouble for him, okay? He's a nice guy. Not yet. Elise, want to do some sightseeing? <laughs> Miss Elise, why not join Leia? Come on, Elise. Gosh, now that Tipo's giving us the silent treatment, I guess I need to pick up the slack. You, talk more than before? Impossible. Meh. Hey, just because Tipo's gotten quiet doesn't mean you have to. I'd love to hear more about you, Elise, in your own words. Shut up, Leia. You're the one holding us all back, after all. Huh? Elise, that was uncalled for. You should apologize. You must have really crossed the line if Mama Mila's scolding you. I hate Mila. And Leia, too. Hey, where are you going? Ouch. That stung a little. Not gonna lie. Please. Do not let it get to you. Uh, oh, I I'm fine. We need to get Elise back. to be alarmed. This is purely a chance encounter, nothing more. Elise, 
I'm sorry about before. I can't imagine how lonely you must be without the old Tipo. I know I have a bad habit of opening my big mouth without thinking. Please forgive me. No. Come on, don't say that. I'll beg if I have to. I thought you and Mila were my friends. I hate you. I hate you. Can't you see that I'm just worried sick about you? Liar! You don't care about me at all. I don't want to be friends anymore. Miss Elise. Everyone is being kind to you right now because you have them so concerned. You say that you feel hurt, but have you considered your own actions? Do you realize that Tipo's words were just as hurtful to Miss Leia? I hurt Leia? Well, hurt is a strong word, but... You took the wind out of my sails, that's for sure. I had no idea. Why don't you try apologizing to her? But... I said such horrible things. I am certain she will forgive you if you ask nicely. Forgiveness is the sign of a true friend. Leia, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Sure, but under one condition. From now on, I want you to tell me more about yourself using your own voice. Huh. You're not the boss of her. You're only three years older. Tipo, stop! Elise? E yes? Even if it's only three years, I'm still older than you. Right. Bossy Leia, scary Leia! <laughs> There's a lesson here, child. Never take your friends for granted. So what do we do now? Jurgen still hasn't gotten back yet. We could just barge into the castle ourselves. For the hundredth time, let's not cause any trouble for Jurgen. That's no good? Hmm. It sounded like a good idea to me. I guess this king really does listen to his people. The king of Arjul is well known for his charisma. It is said he unified this strife-torn country on the strength of his character alone. A guy like that is sure to help us. Charisma only goes so far. If his government is secretly producing children like Elise, then he must answer for it. Thank you. Sorry, we were getting antsy. No, this is actually perfect timing. Are we good to go with the wyverns? Yes, I got royal approval. And something incredible happened when I requested an audience for Mila. What is it? When I told them your names, they said His Highness was looking forward to meeting you, too. Are you all famous in Rashigal or something? Uh, um, I don't think so. Perhaps word of the tournament has reached His Highness. What a great honor for our clan. Anyway, I need to head back to Shandu to ready the Wyverns. Hmm. Quite the unexpected welcome. It's not a trap, is it? I have a bad feeling about this as well. You do? It beats not getting to meet him at all. <sighs> Keeping secrets from us again? Of course. I have to maintain my mystique for the ladies. <sighs> what does he mean? They say men with secrets are attractive or something. I'm not exactly the right guy to ask. Come on, let's go say hi to His Highness. Alvin, we really need you to be straight with us. Don't worry. I know you've put your trust in me. Considering the size of his country, got...
I think that's admirable. Halt! Citizens seeking an audience with the king are to wait in line outside the castle. We were told the king wished an audience with us. Is one of you Lady Mila? That's me. Very well. Please proceed. I don't believe a doll is appropriate at a royal audience. I thought we might leave it here. You sure? It's okay. I'll hold that for you. Now, let us meet this king. What are you doing here? I am Zhao the Immovable of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad? Four warriors in personal service to the king. To think Zhao was a member all along. It is a great honor to meet you, former Chief of Staff Ilbert. Ah, and you are the Ebon Wing of Ajul, Wingle the Nova. You must be the King of Ajul. My name is Gaius, King of Ajul. Welcome, Maxwell. You have requested an audience with the King, have you not? Now please, state your business. Boosters made in your country have already fallen into Rashigal hands. If a war were to break out between your nations, then the results would be catastrophic for everyone. Oh. And you came all the way here just to tell me that in person? Uh... Yes, Your Highness. We're planning to destroy one of Rashigal's weapons, a really big one at that. Once that thing's gone, we know that Rashigal's king wouldn't dare declare war on you. In fact, we hope that... you might, you know, help us? Is there anything else? Yes, there is one other matter we'd like to discuss. It is in regards to the booster laboratory within the Royal Hunting Grounds. Is it true you once abducted orphans for this facility, and then you performed experiments on these children? <laughs> well, I didn't see that one coming. What does any of this have to do with you, spirit? I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect both humans and spirits alike. Really? Spirits protecting humans? Now that is quite an interesting tale. You forsook your duty as king, and then you toyed with the lives of your own people, didn't you? The laboratory is entirely my responsibility. It was a haven for those children. They would have died without it. You imagine it as a mad scientist's lab, but I assure you the experiments were entirely humane. You expect us to take your word for this? But I... I was... This girl, she was that test subject? Yes, she was. Even in Hamil, Elise was forced to live in a tiny room. Don't you consider that... Cruel? Well, uh... Yes. Tell me something, boy. Have you ever considered what it takes to achieve happiness? 
To achieve happiness? Yes, to try and live a satisfying life. How do you think one can achieve that? Do you even know? Well... It takes freedom to make your own decisions, and to form your own beliefs. Exactly. It takes freedom. <laughs> well, I disagree. When a man loses his way in life, the ground beneath him starts to slowly crumble, until there is nothing left. What do you mean? Nothing left. A man who cannot find his way becomes trapped. The more he struggles, the deeper he sinks into uncertainty. Ugh. True happiness comes from following a noble path across an entire lifetime without getting lost. My country does not produce failures. It is the king's duty to show his people the proper path. I must keep them from becoming completely trapped. Now, let me tell you in no uncertain terms why I've called you here. Maxwell, I know you stole the key from the laboratory in Rashagal. Now hand it over immediately. No, I won't. The key was not meant for human hands. When faced with a power that can destroy the entire world, no human can control him or herself. It seems as though you haven't heard a thing that I just said, Spirit. <laughs> Something about royal guidance and noble paths. I've heard it before. You humans never change. I've watched you for 2,000 years. All right. Then why don't you just tell us where the key is? What? Alvin! What are... What are you doing? But you can't... Alvin. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing my job. Alvin, who did Maxwell entrust the key to? The Handmaid Ivor. He's probably sulking back in Neocara as we speak. Al, what are you doing here? Hey, Pressa. Long time no see. Pressa, what is it? Ignore them. Give your report. The Rashigal army has invaded Hamil. What did you say? I'm afraid the casualties are high. Those not killed were captured. They were then sent to Rashigal. We also found evidence that the power of a great spirit was used upon the village. A great spirit? But no one has successfully summoned the four great spirits for two decades. Impossible. I would have known if the four great spirits had been released. Could it be? The Lance of Kresnik? Is it possible that Nautical has made a new key? If that's the case, then we're declaring war. Send word to all the clans. I am going to crush anyone who dares to harm my people! Well then, we will no longer have any need for the likes of you. But if His Highness were to have the Spirit Maxwell as his captive, even the unruly clans would be forced to bend their knees. <sighs> Miss Elise. Tebow, no! <laughs> well, don't just stand there! Come on, run! <laughs> Capture Maxwell. Recover the test subject.
end this! Roger that! I will also support Let us move onward. That was all right. Attack. I assumed he had his reasons, but this time he took it too far. Stupid traitor, let me at him! Why would he betray us like that? I'm afraid even I can't read his mind. How could he do this to us? He better not show his face around us again. Reactivate the five control stones, we may be able to unlock the gate. Pour your mana into the stones until they glow red. Just like at Fort Gandala. The gate will not unlock, however, unless we all activate the stones at roughly the same time. Wait, I've never done anything like this before. Don't worry. Just use your mana as you would when casting an art. There's no time. We've only one chance. Let us begin. I'm finished too. Same here. I did it. Come on, come on. I'm so sick of holding everyone back. Why? Why can't I do it? Mila! Leia, relax. I'm not good enough for this. Quit thinking you're inferior to anyone here. Thanks. You can do this. Let's continue. Okay. Ha! Yes! Hurry up, you two! Nobody leaves 
me behind at a party. Presa, was it? If you've been Gaius's henchwoman all along, then you've been after us ever since we escaped Fenmont. Al sold you out to his highness way back in Nia Kara. He was on your side the whole time. <laughs> Hardly. That man's no ally. Huh? <laughs> I'll leave our relationship to your imagination. All I'll say is this. Al drifts from one group to the next like a ship without a compass. Trying to plot his course is impossible. Serves you right for trusting him. It's obvious that the Lance of Kresnik is the greatest threat if war breaks out. Surely Maxwell realizes this. Your territorial squabbles are of no interest to me. My only concern is keeping that thing out of human hands and preventing a miserable end for us all. So high and mighty, it's time someone broke your arrogance. Enough! You didn't become a veteran of countless battles through meaningless bloodshed. Has your youth gotten the better of you? Don't lecture me on age, Dilbert. Your ways are old. Therefore, you falter. And then you flee. What just happened? A sudden burst of mana. He has a booster. Why? Who are you? Elise, Saibon Punyukaida, Tiyote Sevon Priyande. What? Is that Long Dao? Suohun Susu Maxwell. Wizun Kijudo. I warn you. He's quite strong like this. I can't understand a word he's saying, though. No matter, you'll understand him soon enough. Once we're all finished with you. Right on. So strong. So strong. Time for a duet. Okay. dramatically increased. There can be only one reason, a booster. I won't let them. I can't I'm just never stop. What now? Still want to play, do you? Wait. Don't try to stop me. No, look! I suppose our time is up. Running away again, Hilbert? It's because you ran last time that King Noctigal ended up the way he did. Uh. 